Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about that Kingpin news that came out the last couple of days. And it's not just the rumors and the speculation. We have had word from Vincent D'Onofro himself, the man who plays Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin, in the Daredevil series. And will play him in the new Daredevil series that takes place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But before we get into all the news, if you are new around here, make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date with all types types of Spider-Man news because we cover everything from the games, the movies, and the shows on this channel. So basically, if you want to stay in the loop, this is the channel for you. We're also so close to 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you're subscribed so we can get to 1,000 subscribers on this channel. With that being said, let's get straight into it. So first of all, let's start with what Vincent D'Onofro has said himself. He has teased the potential clash of Wilson Fisk and Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And when asked to comment on the issue, he said, eventually, I will beat Spider-Man's ass. As we know, Vincent D'Onofro is very passionate about the Wilson Fisk character and obviously wants to be involved in as many MCU projects as possible. Basically, him just saying here that, you know, if he gets the call up to be in a Spider-Man movie or if Spider-Man man is in the Daredevil show, wherever these two may meet, that he would have a very good time filming it. Which means that he would be open to do MCU Spider-Man 4, avid all of the Kingpin rumors that came out last year after the release of Spider-Man No Way Home in December of 2021. So no matter what happens, if Spider-Man and Kingpin are to cross paths in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Vincent D'Onofro is very much down for that idea. But moving on to the rumors that have surfaced as well regarding Kingpin, we've got some very interesting news when it comes to his role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And not just Kingpin as a whole but Kingpin and his relation to Spider-Man. Obviously since this is a Spider-Man news channel we gotta link that in there somehow. But anyway this is the rumor. Apparently Kingpin's overall motive in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is to become the mayor of New York so essentially so he can crack down on the laws around vigilanteism and street level heroes. And obviously this doesn't just go for Daredevil for which this law will most likely affect. This will also go for other street level heroes as well like Spider-Man Kate Bishop, and a bunch of others. In fact, the rumor states that Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Matt Murdock, and Spider-Man are at the top of Kingpin's list of vigilantes. This is very, very interesting because this means that they are definitely building up Wilson Fisk to be the main big bad of the street level stuff. Which means that MCU's Phase 5 and 6 will have multiple storylines dealing with multiple big bads. Like the big bad of the multiverse saga as a whole is going to be Kang the Conqueror. However, the big bad of the overall street level saga in phases 5 and 6, which is kind of like the B tier story, will be, in fact, Wilson Fisk, aka the Kingpin. Which makes me really excited because, obviously, the likes of Spider-Man, Daredevil, Kate Bishop, all of these heroes that are at this street level aren't going to be really involved with Kang or the multiverse until the very end, which will be Kang Dynasty or Secret Wars. They don't really have any involvement within this storyline other than their solo movies. So if they could all connect to one another and kind of streamline their story through Wilson Fisk, that would be absolutely awesome. And not only that, we also do have another rumor which is also coming out regarding MCU Spider-Man 4 and how Wilson Fisk could potentially tie into that story. So once again, tying in with Kingpin being the overall big bad of the street level story, we also now have a rumor that states that MCU Spider-Man 4 could deal with a potential plot point for Kingpin to hire contractors to deal with the vigilante crisis in New York. And MCU Spider-Man 4 could be a massive focal point along with Daredevil Born Again and potentially the next season of Hawkeye to deal with this issue. We also know that Kingpin is going to be showing up in the Echo series as well as Echo also has ties to Wilson Fisk. So if he is going to appear in MCU Spider-Man 4, all this story ends up being true because like we do say about all things, this is a rumor so take it with a grain of salt then we are going to find out in Echo if any of this is to be true. My personal belief that this is definitely going to be true because they have Wilson Fisk at the helm now in the MCU. Why not use him to your full advantage? He already made an appearance in Hawkeye and if he was to just be a Daredevil villain, I don't think they would have introduced him in Hawkeye. 
Because by introducing Wilson Fisk in Hawkeye, you allow a wider range of people and a wider audience to get to grips with the Kingpin character meaning that he is going to be playing a more prevalent role in the MCU than once believed before. So I definitely think this is true, and I definitely believe that Kingpin will be the overall big bad of the street-level stuff in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Whether it's him becoming the mayor and trying to crack down on vigilantes is up for debate, as is his role in MCU Spider-Man 4, according to this rumor as well. But speaking of MCU Spider-Man 4, who could be the contractors that Kingpin actually hires in that film to take down the so-called vigilantes, which one of them will be Spider-Man? Well, I think this is the perfect place to introduce Matt Gargan, aka Scorpion, into MCU Spider-Man 4, because Matt Gargan, a known convict, also has a motive against Spider-Man would have a reason to take him down. Therefore, Wilson Fisk could hire Matt Gargan to become the Scorpion to go after Spider-Man, in which obviously Kingpin is pulling all the strings, just like the rumor suggests. I actually have a video over on my main channel, Lewis Films, coming out very, very soon about how Scorpion could be written into MCU Spider-Man 4. And this new rumor and this theory does play a big role in that video. So if you aren't subscribed to Lewis Films, make sure to go subscribe because you won't want to miss that video. But anyway, that is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like on it. And also tell me in the comment section down below, what do you think about these rumors? Do you think that they are true? Do you not think they're true? Tell me why in the comment section down below. Are you excited for MCU Spider-Man 4? I certainly know I am. Are you excited for Kingpin to be the main big bad of the street level stuff for the MCU? Let me know in the comments as well. Make sure to subscribe for more Spider-Man content in the future and make sure to hit the bell so you do not miss another video as soon as it comes out on the channel. Like I said at the start of the video, this channel is dedicated to bringing you all types of Spider-Man news pretty much every single day unless there is no news to talk about so you don't want to miss it. We cover everything from the games and movies and the shows so make sure you're subscribed. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.